Well, Portland is known for a lot of great things, but did you know Portland is recognized as having the most archaic and ineffective government among all other major U.S. cities? Now, Portland elects four commissioners citywide and a mayor who also acts as a fifth commissioner. That hasn't changed in more than 100 years. In a poll just released this afternoon by the Portland Business Alliance, find 70% of likely voters support changing Portland council elections from citywide to districts. Portland motto is the city that works. But are we becoming the city that doesn't work? is Portland, Oregon. More than 650,000 people live here. Many urban experts consider it one of the most livable and progressive cities in the country. And this is the Portland City Council. Those same experts will tell you Portland has the most outdated, archaic form of city government compared to all other major U.S. cities. We're one of the few cities left in the United States that has a commission form of government. For a city that prides itself on being forward thinking, Mayor Wheeler says Portland is stuck in the past. I just say, if this form of government is truly the best form of government, why isn't anybody else adopting it? And why have so many cities moved away from it? It was kind of popular around the turn of the century, but then cities decided it, it didn't really work for them and they all dropped it except for Portland. Policy analyst Kristen Eberhard says electing commissioners at large leaves certain parts of the city and minorities without a voice on the council. You have this history of underrepresentation of people on the east side, underrepresentation of renters, underrepresentation of women, people of color, um, and that's a lot due to the way that we vote. Portland is the only major city in the U.S. where we elect our city officials citywide. All other cities? They're divided up into districts. So imagine if we divide Portland into five districts. I want to run for counselor from District 1. I must live in that district. I know that district. I know the issues and problems. And the same goes for counselors elected from the other districts. From 82nd East, I don't, I don't think a lot of people feel like we're part of Portland. Jeff Rumpfer supported a ballot initiative to create a council elected from districts back in 2015 when his neighbors had concerns about a new apartment building under construction and traffic flow. The commissioner in charge of the Bureau uh, for Transportation wouldn't even come to our neighborhood association meeting. So who, did we, who do we go to then? Neola Larson shares his frustrations. She and her neighbors have seen an influx of homeless camps, trash, and crime. Southeast Portland in general is kind of forgotten by the city. We're like the poor step cousin. All we're saying out here is we want somebody to represent us. We sort of have the worst of both worlds through this commission form of government because we ask people who are running as often as community activists to become managers of enterprises and they typically don't have that level of experience. Once a Portland City Commissioner is elected, they're immediately assigned a city bureau to be in charge of. There's the Parks Bureau, Transportation, Water and Sewer, the Police Bureau. I'm assigned the Portland Fire Bureau. All my attention now, all my efforts are focused on my bureau. Other commissioners need help with their bureaus? Not so fast. What about my bureau? Residents have a concern in a particular neighborhood. If it doesn't directly affect my bureau, chances are it's not going to get the full attention it deserves. When you're assigned a bureau, you're in charge of that bureau and you're sort of looking at that bureau maybe to the exclusion of other things that are happening in the city. Former Commissioner Steve Novick saw it firsthand. The worst part of it is this idea of assigning bureaus to commissioners. Because when you assign a bureau to a commissioner, two things happen. That bureau becomes incredibly important to that commissioner and all the other bureaus become somehow less important. The harder I work, the more I live. The late Vera Katz served as Portland's mayor for 12 years. In 2007, when asked about Portland's commission style of government, Katz told Willamette Week every one of the commissioners see themselves as mayor. Why is Portland so stuck on this, is it what, 100 years old <laughs> form of government that we've got? <laughs> Given the 
rapid change in this city and given the complexity of the issues that we're dealing with and given the increasing diversity of interests in this community, is this form of government really up to snuff anymore? I have serious questions about whether it is. Should we change our government? The Portland City Club commissioned this study. They just released it asking, is it time to change Portland City government? It's not a spoiler alert to say that we have problems in the city, in the state, in this country um, with how equitable we are representing people. And the report will kind of go into details of, of why we think that is and why we think now is the time to, to let it go. Okay, I have an advanced copy of this report, but we're not allowed to release it until Sunday. And you can imagine what's in it. They talk to former mayors, former city councilors. So uh, this will be very interesting when they release this. It'll be on our website on Sunday, so you can check that out. We'll also be interviewing the person, one of the people who worked on this report. And uh, look for complete coverage on the future of the Portland City Council once again this Sunday on coin.com. This is such an interesting and important story. I've covered city government and lived yeah. and worked in three other cities and had never seen it done this way until I moved here. Yeah. Now, as far as the history of this, it has roots in what, Galveston, Texas? We have roots in our city government in Galveston, Texas. This commission form of government was invented in Galveston, Texas. So it's often called the Galveston mm. style of government. And guess what? They dropped it in 1960, almost 60 years ago, Long because they ago. said it doesn't work. And most other U.S. major cities dropped it in the 1940s. Here in Portland, we have clung on to it. And that's why this report is so important from the City Club. Once again, we'll release, you can read it, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll release it Sunday on our website. Oh, that'll be interesting. Good story, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you very much.